Hi guys, what is up? Today I've got a super exciting video for you today. I don't know whether people are gonna hate this or love it. I don't care, I, I'm gonna love it. Um, so I am going to be painting my TV. Well, more importantly, I'm just gonna be painting the frame around the TV because it's so ugly and it's black and I'm looking at it here and I hate it. And it's on like my gallery wall in my bedroom and it really annoys me because I barely use my TV but I want to keep it in case like if I'm like ever sick or whatever it's nice to watch TV in bed so that is what I'm doing so that when I have like my Chrome class put, plugged in I can like put up um, actually when you put a Chromecast in like these images come up anyway but yeah I can put up an image on the TV and it'll look like a picture so it's basically like one of those Samsung frame TVs but it's a really cheap water TV <laughs> so I hope you like this video. I hope you don't think I'm absolutely mad, but if you do, that's fine too. Um, I'm really excited and I hope it works out. Let's get started. Quick disclaimer, obviously if you try this out yourself, there is a risk of damaging your TV. So yeah, that ain't my fault. Um, don't get on to me if you're like not able to watch Mulan or whatever. Obviously I wouldn't do this with like a brand new TV, but I was willing to take the risk with this cheap old TV. Okay, let's go. First up, I want to show you a couple of pictures of how I disguised my TV in the past. I just did a dark shape where the TV was and it just sort of hid it from view a little bit, but obviously it was never ideal. So now I'm gonna show you what I'm gonna be fixing today. So this is my room as it is currently and the TV looks crap. And I really love my gallery wall, but this was just really bugging me. <laughs> So here it is and this is the bracket it's on, it comes out from the wall and it's quite chunky and disgusting. There I am saying hello. Hi guys. The most important thing when painting anything really is the prep but in this case it's super important because TVs can be so dusty. So I basically cleared out the area, cleaned it really really well, I think I cleaned it twice or three times. I also cleaned the bracket as well really well and I took off the plastic moulding that goes on it because I didn't really think it helped much. I then gave it a really light sand with some fine grade sandpaper and then I taped it up using frog tape and cut off any excess using a craft knife. You'll see me applying tape around the back as well because I only want to paint the plastic frame. I don't want to paint the back because that's where all the vents and stuff are. Then I'm priming it using Otex Aqua. This is suitable for plastic so that's why I'm using this. And there I am priming the bracket as well. You will need a little brush to get into all the little areas but I'm using a Too Fuzzy Blokes semi-smooth roller and then an Axis Deco brush there and then you'll see me going in with a little artist paintbrush later. Because I'm painting the TV gold, the coverage isn't great with the gold so I'm using this Helmi, I think it's Helmi 30 furniture paint and this is just as a base layer so that the gold goes on better. So here I am painting on the first layer of this coppery colour with a paintbrush and then the next layer I'll do with a roller. This just gets a thick layer of the gold on so that it looks better because it can take you a lot of coats with this. I know from doing my dresser in my room it can take a long long time and I didn't know about putting a base coat on and I really wasted like years of my life doing it so I'm not doing that for this. For the final coat I used a smooth Too Fussy Blocks roller and this just gives like a sprayed like finish and that's going to be the difference in having an alright finish and a really good one. So then I'm also just doing the bracket again and I'm doing it the same colour as the walls. And then I just remove the frog tape while it's wet. You can tell I was really anxious to get this done because I'm in my pyjamas. So <laughs> I've sort of learned the hard way not to paint in my pyjamas because then it just feels like you should be working all the time. So now I never do it, but I obviously broke that rule the other day. And yes, yeah, so I'm just taking off the frog tape and I will show you the areas where some of the paint bled, which I was a bit concerned about, but I didn't freak out over because I thought this would happen anyway. And I was able to get it off pretty easily. So there's where the pink bled, but the rest of it was perfect. I didn't really need to fix anything else. And I just got that off with my finger and I also used like a cotton bud and I just put some um, cleaning solution on it. You have to be very careful though because obviously like you're touching your screen like you shouldn't be like baiting it around. So you can see here that I didn't paint the back of it I just painted the little plastic frame around the television and this is how it turned out. I'm actually delighted. You'll see there that that's my punch needle on the top left 
Um, I finished that recently and I think it really finishes off the room. There were a few things that were annoying me about the room and one of them was the TV and one of them was not having that punch needle done. So I've got both things done now and I feel amazing. <laughs> but yeah, I think it just really blends into the gallery wall so much better. I am obsessed with it. I'm so, so, so happy with how it turned out. I know a lot of people will think that's mad, but I think I would have been mad not to do it because I'm so happy with the results and I think it was worth it. As always, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you here next week. Make sure you're following me on Instagram at Colourful Thanks so much, you guys.